Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So last time, um, Consul M kind of, it turned out that she had traded places with Armio, and so now we have a half Consul, half Ouroboros in our party. And, uh, no one got executed, so that's good. We also ended up with a new hero um, in the form of Miyabi here, and uh, probably will end up with an, at least one more new hero by the end of this video. Um, but first, let's make the most of our break, guys. I do believe that uh, well. Given a little bit of travel here and switching out the hero to being Riku and Anna, we do have another hero quest that we can start. Okay, now we go where exactly? Oh, and these guys have something to say, apparently. I pass so roguish and cool. I see, I see. We did talk to Selfie here, right? We did not talk to Selfie. Well, now we have talked to Selfie. I think I have talked to Agraro. Good to add more names. Sure, I did. I'm pretty sure Mobius are kind of angry with us at this point. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Well, we just got um, we just got this, so let's second. take a look at this real quick. I mean, yeah, that kind of cuts your peripheral vision in like. Also, yeah, death perception is also a thing. Kind of the sky nut thing, not great. This is true. Hmm. Anyway, pretty good banana, what you gotta say? It's soothing, the sound of the waves. Just look at it. The sea, the, the sea just seems to go on forever. If we were still in Colony Gamma, we'd never have ended up coming here. Don't think we would have either, eh, Noah? Yeah, no way. Don't think I, I, I could have even imagine spending time just gazing out on the water. Well, of course not. If we had the time to spend uh, staring at the sea, we had time to fight. You said it. I think having moments like these is good for us from time to time. Agreed. I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. Huh? It's Commander is it? Tyon, can I bother you? Of course, Commander. What can I do for you? I need to discuss. Uh, I need to discuss something with you. Could you come by Colony Lambda? That is, when you have a free moment. I would hate to inconvenience you. Yes, understood. We'll be there. Alright, see you later then, Tyon. What do you say? But we should meet him at Lambda whenever we, ha we have time. Alright, then let's pay him a visit when we next have a gap in our schedule. Side story Tyon. Alright. I don't know why we needed Riku and Manana for that, but yeah, whatever. So we're still missing that one piece Don't for the white fog. Have Is there anything on the sea now? I 
By the way, this little area here, I did kind of ended up I did kind of end up looking it up. Um, there was nothing here when I came here. There definitely can be something in there. And it's not something that I want to run into anytime soon. So now there's this whole uh, area around Agnes Castle too that I need to map out. If I remember, I might do that like uh, off camera or something. It's kind of a All right, well, uh, Colony Lambda. No, we are here. Landmark. I forget if Colony Lambda was here or if it was. Well, I guess one way to find out for sure. Uh, we're going to need to switch the quest. Two side story tie on. And that's going to direct us toward Pentelus region. Yeah, in fact, a, in an area of Pentelus region that. Um, we haven't fully mapped, interesting. Now I remember. Tiny got that message from Izzard, right? I did. I was thinking now might be a good time to see him. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. We'll be waiting outside. Thank you. I'll try to make it quick. What's this? This was Nimue's. A lens. A membrane covering an iris. Nimue, you I this. forgot this guy had a yeah. North American accent. It must have been five years ago. It was on an expedition to the Cadencia frontier. However, Kvesi troops attacked at night. My squad was crushed. And I was hurt bad. The one who nursed me back to health was Nimue. Theirs was a curious colony. No one ever fought. They'd spend their days tending Sophronias. There used to be a castle there at one time, but at some point it was destroyed in a great battle, and there it lay in ruins. It was there that I saw some cradles left over from that time. They looked like they would break at any minute. But still, some were making soldiers. Nimue, she was just one of them. The people there, they were like we are now. They lived free of the flame clock's yoke. Sir, you say they were like us, so perhaps their colony was freed by Ouroboros at some point in the past. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like Nimue and the others had always been living off the land. Also, they'd been strictly shunning contact with others for generations. 
Naturally, most people there gave me the cold shoulder. Before long, I journeyed away from the colony, along with Nimue. Nimue left with you? Why so? There's a world out there. It'd be nice to see it. I wondered at her motivations, but I think I see now. Now we don't live under the flame clock's yoke. We're more free to consider our emotions. Back then, Nimue had to carefully hide the fact that her iris was unconnected to a flame clock. She enlisted a Nopon engineer to make the lens. All so she could live among us. And after that, she became the Nimue you know. I never knew you two had such a connection. Incredible. But why show me this now? Well, actually... What? The leadership want Nimue's colony wiped out? Yeah. We only just heard. A Nopon merchant was able to tip us off. And since Nopon are involved in handling most logistics and transportation, the information should be good. So the brass have pinpointed its location? Could be. You don't have to be so cagey, Commander. Cagey? You can tell it to me straight. Am I wrong? You'd like us to keep Nimue's colony safe. But... Isn't that the reason? Why you've told me this whole story? If you moved to protect the colony, it'd put this place in the line of fire. I've heard. Like how, after the Consul's disappearance and the loss of the Flame Clock, despite sending a report to HQ, you haven't received a word of reply. Hmm. We reported that it all happened while we lay there unconscious, which is the unvarnished truth. Yet still nothing. I understand. Let me run it past the others, Commander. Sounds like a scoop. There's something I want to discuss with everyone. Could I have a moment of your time? Yeah, there's a couple of other discussions around here happening too, like a missing offseer? Yeah, that's not great. Also some talk about Call Me Lambda's excellence. So there's also a container in here, I think, from the looks of it, maybe. It looks like there's a container in here. Maybe it's outside. Oh, there it is. Wonder what's inside. Also, I wonder, because that question mark over Izzer here was there before. What's wrong, Commander? Hmm. Oh, it's you guys. The Ferranus was heavily damaged during the battle, do you remember? As a result, some of our remote-administrated autolevs aren't responding to transmitted instructions. I'm not 100% on the techno babble, but that doesn't sound good. Indeed. I've sent some of our tech guys over, so we'll know soon enough. Do you really need the machines? Are you thinking there might be another battle? It's nothing like that, I assure you. Colony Lambda is now focused on ether mining, and... Oh dear. What? What was that? 
We just received word of a tunnel collapse. What? I'll be there ASAP. Are the troops assembled? They're all in position. Then go on ahead. Sorry about this. After you took the trouble to come all the way here. Commander, please let us lend a hand. Only if you're sure. But your help will be welcome. Roger that. Okay, um, focus shift instead of um, instead of helping Izzard, we're gonna be helping Izzard. Let's hurry into the tunnels. But instead of uh, upgrading Tyon, we're doing this to get Izzard. <gasps> get up there. There we go. Also, hang on. Cool. You're at max rank. I have a stalker. And I have a jaguar. So I gotta whack him. I can do that. They can be offensive. Five, you're four, you're three, and you're five. Of course, this is happening on the our, on the RPG clock, so we could just run around as long as we want to here, and. Uh, Pocket. Yeah, I mean, yes, you're still limited to the 10 year term. Also, that mark in that picture is a brand new mark, like fresh out of the cradle. Some chatter about the Orion Mountains. Hey, did you guys hear something? And you're gonna be talking about the missing offseer. Oh dear, he's gone into the tunnels, has he? <laughs> the tunnels had just collapsed, maybe. Maybe I'll uh, discuss that real quick. Let's lay out the facts. It is a bit worrying. Okay, well, um, so no actual, uh, well, that's one way to exercise. Izzard does not have enough bonus experience. Everyone does. Otherwise, to get up to level 66. I don't think I would recommend the use of gun in training. There we go. Nice and clean. Actually, yeah, I should have waited to see what Riku and Manana were going to do. Let's bounce.
So where exactly do I need to go? Over here. I'll work to here. I have a weird path we're taking, I feel, but uh, this is the path that uh, that is available to me, so... This might not have been the ideal place to warp to. Let's try here instead. The tunnels are up ahead. By the way, what level quest is this? Wrong button. Level 27. I could have done this a long time ago. The tunnel walls should have been stabilized. What happened? Hey, look over there. It's collapsed. We got monsters! They must have been living in a place with elevated ether concentration, then found their way in here. We better get there quick! But there's no direct path there. We'll have to go around. You've got Lebnuses, don't you? Wanted to make short work of these things. But we need permission from each squad's leader to activate a Lebnus! Oh, come the snap on! This is an emergency! You stay here on standby. There might be another clap, so we'll go on alone. But Commander! Execute a partial evacuation once the tunnel mouth is secured. Coordinate with the medic corps and treat any wounded. Now, these are special orders for which I take full accountability. Inform the other troops. Yes, sir. Now, all of you. We'll be fine, Commander. You can count on us. Understood. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. I mean, this is a level 27 quest. It's probably First going to be trivial. We'll need to find a way up. The hard part will be getting there. That's how elevators work. By the way, I'm going to switch over to lands and charge. Now we just hang about. Fog. Proceed with caution. And they, they make a big deal of the black fog. But it's not like they're going to all of a sudden be like, hey. How about it? This is just going to randomly trigger and you're annihilated now. Game over.
Of course, this uh, this black fog could also end up explaining why there was a cave in. How about it? Shall we take it on? Hey, dude. We were moving in sync, right, Tile? Dang. Get up there. Right. This looks climbable. Have I been up here? I don't know. Well, anyway. Once we're off the next elevator, we should be right there. And don't mind if I help myself. Have I not used this elevator? Really? Hmm. Now we just hang about. <sighs> Did no one else get on? Really? No problem. I'm with you. Anyone hear me? We're here to help. Commander, we're safe. No casualties here. Looks like there weren't too many working this deep inside. I'm glad everyone's unharmed. I didn't think there'd be a cave in here, considering the geology and with this level of structural support. I suppose the cave wall was weak enough for the monsters lurking there to break through. When the excavation uncovered an area of concentrated deposits, the monsters that lived there must have sensed the chance. The ether find is good news, but for now, let's get everyone out. There might be more monsters. We better keep an eye out. Noted. We're close to the site of the cave in. Let's pick up the pace. Yes, sir. I mean, I think we're more than close to the site. We're pretty much here. Shall we deal with it? They've been absorbing the ether. I guess we have to. I don't know what that extra symbol is on my um, on my art palette on the right side. It's gone now. I guess that must be an extra thing for uh, for this class. Charge off on your own. And you didn't aggro. Why didn't you aggro? Oh, You're part of this not. place. That looks somewhat cleaned up. I guess riding a leftness meant they avoided any serious injuries. A little silver lining to a great big cloud. Glad to hear. Tyon? No, all of you. Thanks for your assistance. You saved us. On the contrary, Commander. We were just following your orders. 
Right. We could only react so fast thanks to your quick thinking. That's about as much as I can do. The people of Colony Lambda, and you as well, all knew what needed to be done. And due to that, the rescue was a success. I can't thank you enough. You've even managed to secure a nearby ether deposit. I'm a bit jealous. Yes. Actually, our troops reported a harvestable ether source recently. And with enough resources in the bank, perhaps the colony could have some peace of mind. I hear a fair few colonies are lacking ether. Everyone knows that we're nothing without it. Everyone in Lambda knows to be prepared to do anything in their power rather than lose it. By the way, how are your travels? Our... travels? Sometimes I'm envious of folk like you. Strong-willed and forging ahead. Well, we're not that... Actually, I think being a commander is a pretty big deal in its own way, eh? Yeah. Smoldering Kamaravi and famed Silvercoat certainly are. But I'm not that kind of lone pioneering type. I think most people feel the same. I, mean, I know point, my own weakness best of anyone. The day we lost Nimue and Yu Tion, I abandoned all thought. The Consul sensed my weakness, knew I'd pass my responsibility to another, and took merciless advantage of it. Oh. That's one thing I learned from losing. Ironically, if I hadn't experienced that loss, I'd... I'd never have come to understand this feeling in me. Sorry, no one needs to hear all that. Ah, yes. I owe you all, don't I? Would you come to the Commander's office later? I'll be waiting. It's a weird side glance you've got going there, bud. Anywho, let's go back to Colony Lambda. And finish up this quest. So, I wanted to thank you all somehow. We didn't lend a hand just so you'd give us something in return. Too right. We don't expect any thanks. That may be so, but... Oh yeah, did the thing with the autolevs get sorted out? I only just got a report saying they don't know why they won't work. After seeing that cave-in, I want to investigate thoroughly. An autolev is vital for that investigation. If we can't bring them back here, they can't be of any use to us. Here it comes. I'm not planning on getting you involved for every little thing. I already can't thank you enough for your help with the cave-in. Excuse me, Commander. I have a report about the autonomous Levnesses. Any new developments? Yes, sir. It seems they're operational. I see. They wanted you to take a look and judge if they can be used or not, sir. Roger that. Well, I'm sorry for bringing you all out here. I have to go. I'd like to come along. What do you mean? Oh, good call. I need some closure on this. We won't get in the way. Is that okay? As you wish. Then follow me. Okay. Um... Where are we going? We're going to here. Um, I'm hoping that I can get to here from this grave. Mm, a lot of uh, a lot of black fog around here, though. Less than ideal. Guys, get ready to fight. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let this one go, honestly. If it ain't for a quest, I'm not gonna bother with a, uh... With someone half my level. Oh, they're... okay. I guess I could have gone to that camp instead.
Uh, once again. The, uh, the landmark that looks the closest isn't necessarily always actually the closest. Thank you, friend. Oh, it does. Thank you. I do appreciate that the Xenoblade games uh, tend to have an auto run feature. How far are we going? Jeez. I seriously was not expecting to be running this far. I have to think of it. Isn't... Isn't Colony Lambda behind that... It would have been easier to just go from straight where we were. Well, at the very least, oh, we can get something out of it. That was spectacular. And I was the MVP. You're all thinking it. We don't exactly have what I'd call an open schedule. Sorry, I know this is selfish. I mean, we do. Nah, mate, I don't blame you. Sort of. I may owe Commander Izzard a great debt, but he's also someone I just want to help, even if I didn't owe him. I think every soldier in Lambda probably feels the same. It sounds nice, doesn't it? Feeling an attachment to your colony, to your commander. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> What happened? Hey, is everything okay? Uh, Commander! The Lebnesses! They started moving all of a sudden! What? And then they just came for us! But any autonomous unit should have safeguards to stop it attacking us. I mean, they okay, clearly don't. Huh. Lucky thing we tagged along, eh? Please, stay back, Commander. We can take it. What are you saying, man? I'm fighting. It'd be a lousy example for the troops if I just stood around and stared. Then let's go! A challenge lies before us. <laughs> Not much of one. Come to think of it, armadillo, right? I'm sure these armadillo units have some pretty good plating to them. I mean, they're level 29, they're not going down that fast. One might call it an armor armadillo. <laughs>
I mean, we really didn't need the power of our bows for this. I guess this is a case of let's not and say we did. Oi! The spark you doing? Concentrate on their power sources. Where are they? Finish it up now. Tie on. Right. Yes, tie on knows where it is. Which, I mean, he, he was a member of Colony Lambda for a while, so... I mean, that also works. Feels like all I do is ask you to clean up our messes. Thanks again. If there's anything I can do. But why did they go berserk? It might have been set so they couldn't tell between friend and foe once restarted. You think so? So you're saying that forcing them to restart overwrote the previous instructions? Oh, man. I'll have engineering give me the details. We need them in running order, but they can be dangerous tools, so care is paramount. It's a weird arm thing you got Let there. me know if there's any way I can thank you. We told you before, we didn't do this for any reward. You won't fly. I can't rest easy knowing I'm this deep in someone else's debt. If you're going to insist... Do we need anything, guys? Uh, let me think. All right. I've got something. Whatever it is, just say the word. We've put you out of your way. I want you to fight by our side once more. Say that again. I want you to see for yourself that the path I'm walking is the right one, Commander. Tyon, has this been bothering you? I understand. My position as Commander means I probably won't be able to accompany you at all times. But I pledge myself in Colony Lambda to you, Tyon. No, to all of you. Call me anytime you need me. I'll come running no matter what. Thank you very much, Commander. I better brush up on my skills to keep up with you all. Colony Lambda will have to keep up with its current developments, too. We can help you with stuff like that, mate. Now look here, I can't ask that of you. Look, we're friends now. Nothing wrong with asking your friends for help. <laughs> We're friends, you say. You're incredibly trusting, you know that. What's that supposed to mean? We're just helping. I don't mean anything bad by it. If I need you, I'll ask for you. Please, call us anytime you need. I'm a lucky man to have friends like you, Tyon. I mean, we're already in the middle of helping you with something else, so, you know. Unwavering resolve complete. First a cave in, then Otto Lev's gone berserk. As thanks for resolving both issues and protecting Lambda, Izzard accepts Tyon's request to join the party. And so. I will endeavor to assist you. 
Stratego's Izzard has been added to the Heroes roster, and of course, I'm pretty sure if you've been paying any attention, you probably know who the class inherit is. It's friggin' Tyon. Izzard's class, class Stratego, uh, Strategos, Roll Healer, possesses arts that heal allies and weaken enemies, a highly versatile class with many aces up their sleeve. Um, so how are we doing on classes? We're only missing two, and we have a quest for one already, and that's Kamurabi. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. Who is this, though? Hmm. Alright. Um, so give me a second. I do need to run over to the bathroom because that's been happening lately. So I'll be right back. It's been a, like three to five minutes, not very long at all. Or maybe even shorter than three to five minutes. You know, I'm bad at time estimates. Okie doke. Oh right, this is a this is another feature that I have absolutely just not been using all game. Basically, allows you to save your party formation, um, and like load between alternative formations. So if I wanted to just quickly become um, my default party formation, then it's, I can just use that rather than go through the classes screen. Um, so let's go to quests.
And let's continue to um, to help out Izzard because that's what we've been doing. Huh. It's actually not letting me... Okay. <laughs> I like how Riku and Manana show up like in front of everyone else because they would be too short to actually show up in like in the back where the hero usually shows up. This, uh, this is a very chatty colony, but then again, like, I could be going to the other colonies as well, and they probably have plenty of things to say too. Just that I've been trying to kind of keep things more or less on track. That's right. I mean, it's just a pretty defensible place. We got new folks on the map. Over here. Takes either it takes ether to make ether. Get the sense that we've got new folks on it. Uh, was there a rest spot in town here? Or in the colony? Or did I have to actually go to it? I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. So it turns out. We have a lot of crap to discuss. Two of these will lead to some quests. Minor quests, so I'm not gonna talk through these. Hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah, I have too much too. I mean... Quite frankly, I could do with offloading some of my ether. to talk to you guys and yeah that that would stand to reason this cook something up 
I mean, that's kind of the idea, yeah. <laughs> So those are the quests that are available. Oh, yeah. we were gonna talk about that thing. Have some discussion points about the Orion Mountains first. I mean, they need to be traversable to, like, the player, so... And a new Pokemon game, people are playing Brilliant Diamond. Jeez. No, I don't blame you. Yes, what we do matters, especially since what we're trying to do is take down Mobius. You're capable of feeling bad? You're capable of feeling, Tyon? Oh, yeah, we were gonna talk about that You don't say. I mean, uh, yours is gone, but that's a different story entirely. <laughs> oh, you got a problem. Well, Mio, you've got all the time in the world. Hey, listen to this, will you? The rest of us will enjoy what we can while we can. I mean, every colony specializes in something, is what I'm noticing. Okay, now let's actually discuss Izzard's hey, request here. This, what a beautiful story! Those two must have shared a lot of memories. Like you said, Tyler. Sounds like Ouroboros got involved in the past. So that pretty much makes it our business. Count us in, mate. Saffronia, that's that thingy, right? We that saw thing. one growing once. If there's loads of them blooming somewhere, that's something I'd want to see. Huh? I'm shocked. More. Oh, God like flowers and junk. Of course. Banana too! Banana have wished to see flowers! 
This is unusually proactive for you, Manana. Why so? Ladies and flowers are like peas of same pot. No are idea they? what Manana talk about. But someone had to keep Manana out of trouble. That okay with friend Tile? Sure. Thank you, everyone. Okay, let's go talk to Commander Azard again. After talking to him, close me here. Unfortunately for them, yeah. We got new folks on the map. Yeah, pretty much reaching uh, reaching gold rank as a colony just means you're gonna get eaten by Mobius. I think, yeah, this is about fixing the canteen. Yeah, this this place does seem to be about its red tape. Oh, lovely. So basically, ask like everyone. It's like trying to navigate the central bureaucracy. Good gracious. Here's Koji, by the way. Didn't you have something about ether? Yeah, me too, thanks. And this seems to me like probably the better idea. No. Share it freely among the colonies, probably, yeah. Well, that leaves one option. Well, that's all my ideas, so... Oh. Four? Okay, what about 30? Yeah, but, uh, probably. their ethers worth. I guess sell it directly. I mean true. Dang it. I didn't want to pick that. How about the Napon? They have they have a lot of uh they, they have their methods of carrying around a lot of stuff.
right? Some relationships changed. That was a longer conversation than I was hoping for, but uh That's the kind of colony this is. Anyway, is it? Just working my way up to you, bud. Thanks. I'm sorry to involve you in this. Don't worry. We all agree that this is something we should do. It's a while since we first got thrown together. We're used to this by now. And, you know, we want to see Sophronia's. <laughs> it was me. I'm the one who threw Nimue's life into chaos. I should have just left her where she was. Commander. Kion. Sir? If Nimue's been reborn, if she's in that colony, keep her safe by any means. This time, I want her to follow the path she was meant to tread. Yes, sir. I promise. I don't get it. Why doesn't the commander just come along? He's got no choice, right? He might get the attention of the castle or something. Oh, guess so. That's not all, I think. Hmm? I'm sure you must be scared. If he meets her again, he might end up behaving the same way towards her. Is that a bad thing? No, I don't think so. But I do understand how he feels. Yeah. I definitely hesitate. It's not just about himself. If I hadn't been so careless, the commander wouldn't have to feel this way. You're not still Kion. thinking like that, are you? No, no. I, I'm... I'm just... You're just what? Looking back all the time never helped nobody. Look, I... I know. Right? Come on, then. Uni. Okay, sorry. I know you're right. Okay, so it looks like we are going to Cadenzia. To this area here. Which, I don't like the fact that I, like, started going through here and ended up going back. Because this was while I was mapping things out. Feeling the pressure yet? No, why would I be? I'm fine. Or maybe I saw this and just turned back. There's a Pharonis here. Looks like it's trying to clear away the earth. No sneaking through with this big thing in the way. I think we found the enemy force the commander mentioned. <sighs> Manana not see any people. Whole unit made up of Lebnises. Much weirdness. Hang on, look. A console. They haven't found us, have they? No. I don't think they've spotted us just yet. This one might have different abilities than that K guy. Guess that's a thing. But why have only Levnesses? I can't fathom what this Mobius can do. But they're about to wipe out an allied colony. They'd have a fun time explaining that to soldiers. True, true. Let's hurry. All that digging will take some time. If we can bypass this unit, we should be able to beat them there. Let's do that. And make sure we don't get spotted. Ready? New colonies on the grid. Pretty sure we're going to get spotted at some point.
I'm guessing that if I had actually tried to go into this cave. Right. When the foreigner starts moving, we won't have enough time. We'll have to do something before then. Topographical info update. If I had actually tried to go into this cave, it probably would have said like, oh, there's a Ferranus here. Better not get involved unless we have to. A fight! Is it? But who are they fighting? Could it be? So it would seem. Let's help them. Roger. But we get to fight more Agni and Auto Labs. Go ahead and focus attack, shall we? Don't just... That's rude. Go of uh, of ZR and the fusion arts didn't go off. And that was not doing great right now. Oh, we're getting an arrow down. Back up now, yeah, but Senna's not looking too high either. Oh, that's me. Oh no. Just hang out with the healers. Finish this one and then immediately chain attack on the other one. <laughs> Ooh, we got a back in action. Excellent. Well, if you if you use your thinking muscles, maybe we should try it out. Bravo. And we got overkill. Ooh, we got uh, we got lands back too.
Hmm. I'm gonna risk it. Uh, and I risked it incorrectly. I was hoping to not exceed there, but unfortunately I did exceed. Oh wait, that was... I wasn't paying attention, that was the Ouroboros pair. So if I don't use this now, I'm not going to use it at all. I'm getting, I'm getting too much TP. It's like the beginning of a pandemic. It's a joke on the general state of pandemic. I bought the regular amount of toilet paper and there was never really a severe shortage here or anything, so. Because I'm in Canada. <gasps> Hi. And that's Nimoy. Hey. Nimoy. Mom. Don't call out her name. She doesn't know you in this life. I know it's hard for you to believe us, but I promise you, we aren't lying. <laughs> Can we really trust you? Nimue. Huh? Uh, I, I mean... These Levenesses were unmanned. It's likely they were a scouting party. The main force, they're drawing near. Very well. I'll choose to trust you. However, I do not speak for our entire colony. The others will decide on their own. Follow me. I'll take you to meet our chief. Chief? Man, this really is a much different kind of colony, isn't it? I can't believe Nimoy is here. I don't think Tyon's mind's on the job. I mean, I totally can believe Nimue is here. We know how life works. We've, we've done the song and dance at this point. You die, you're reborn with no memories of your past life. Except that you can kind of morphogenetically feel your way into a number. Lots of uh, living landmines around there. Oh, that's a rare one. Guys, get ready to fight. There's another one. I figured that was another rope, but uh, 
decided to try to ignore it, and that was a bad idea. At least the ones that are moving around are not going to aggro me. Just the ones that are underground are going to bob out. And I mean, that's the only way that I'll be able to fight them. Sir Tyon, was that your name? Huh? Oh, yes. No, sir, though. Just Tyon. Tyon. Before, you called me Nimue. How did you know my name? Um, well, you see... You're right. tiny. Your dog tag on your... Dog tag? Wh what? Tyon. I guessed. Uh, I'm talking right. great intuition. Gr Guess yeah, the name for cool. Me. <laughs> it isn't even a challenge. Tyon, no. Wow, is that true? Yeah, you bet. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is doing my head in. Mind too. Just stop it, tell her. Oh! Great idea, Nat. By the way, Nimue, you're the reincarnation of my old boss. Who's gonna believe that? It sounds crazy as all spark, dude. Yuni, we've had a lot longer to get used to all this stuff, remember? Uh... <laughs> hey, something funny, love? Nothing. You're being very uni, but I like <laughs> that about you. Oi, what's that supposed to mean? Uni is as uni does. Besides... Darn right. Hmm? I think it's not just the rebirthing thing. He's feeling the same as Izzard. Tyon is. Poor fella. Your blade. Huh? I have hey. the same. Oh, that. That's true. You're the one who taught me. I did? Oh, uh, no. I meant someone who looked like you. Yeah, her. <laughs> right. What's wrong? Tyon, you you're really inside, bumping this. Yes. yes. What's it like out there? This place is all we know. We're not allowed to leave. It's forbidden, you see. Wonderful. A world of endless war. People taking each other's lives away. Yes. Yep. It's a pitiful place. Still, even so, I want to go. I need to see it. A world wide open. You'd have to fight, too. But you're not like that, are you? Huh? It's a sad world, but you're trying to change it. Am I wrong? Well, uh... If there are people like you in that world... Well then, I'm sure it's wonderful. And that is what I want to see. Oh boy. Oh dear. Better leave him be for a spell. Level 56 unique. Well. Before I do this. 
I should probably actually make sure to equip a uh, soul hacker. So I gotta whack him. I can do that. Uh, Looks like a tough customer. Well, there's a will, there's a way. I hope. That was the last time that I fought a unique I didn't have Soul Hacker, and so we didn't get the Soul Hack from it. I didn't realize that uh, that lens is soul hacker has top line. Good thing. Especially since someone else has gaze. Now, no, stop. Stop aggroing me. Everything hurts. Too much damage is the problem. Okay. Alright, time for chain attack. Where's the camera? Looks like the camera is kind of broken for most of these characters. No, he's still. They reactivated it too. Finish the top. That's what I was. I thought I got it. I didn't. I was hoping for a Bravo. I did not get the Bravo by two points. Frick. Ooh. 
Uh, so this is gonna be the end, so let's go with Noah, and we have Mio. Man, such high numbers, but just not high enough. Well, the important thing is I did get the Ouroboros order. Oh, look at that. Uh, who's got days, by the way? You do. Alright. Oh, I meant to use days and I didn't. Dang it. And then of course we with the highest amount of TP so that we can get an amazing to finish us off. That could have gone better. How did I miss my topper? Twice in a row? Oh jeez. Yeah, Sun has gone down. Lands is uh, taking aggro here, which is not great. Oh, we got it. Soul Act. Both carries wisdom. Ooh, that was rough. So let's uh, set you back over to. I think I have you on Flash Fencer? Also, you haven't earned a, uh, a rank level yet? Yes, I'm taking a lot of pictures. A lot of it. There is really, really pretty. Yeah, exactly. Pretty. Glad you See? like them. They're nearly in full bloom. Give it three more days, and they'll be covering the whole cliffside. Wow. Now that I want to see. Yeah. The chief is over there. Let's go. New colonies on the grid.
colony relations. I was wondering what uh what colony this would be listed as. Apparently it is the lost colony. Just like the image Nimue showed me. I'll get back to them in a minute. Better give it a good once over. Hi. I thank you. Kind outsiders. Though, I'm afraid we will not be leaving this place. But why? There are troops on the way coming to kill you. You don't expect to just beg for your life. Chief! Since ages past, we have prospered in this land we call home. Even knowing war rages on constantly in the outside world. <sighs> if that war is to reach our land, then I'm happy to accept our fate. Or, you could call it our punishment. Punishment? Outsiders. As thanks for assisting Nimue's team, we prepared chambers. However, that is only for tonight. Tomorrow, I would ask you to leave. We must follow the path which fate has set for us. <sighs> We got new folks on the map. I mean, at least Some relationships that's... changed. Hmm. We're gonna have to do some fighting, aren't we? Is this place a crop growing colony? You barely ever see any of these in Kevez. Seems like a nice way to live. It's warm. They live in comfort. Yeah. How could they deserve punishment? Because they're not fighting. And that's the important thing for Mobius. Hmm. Mm. What's this? I think this was from another mate. Remember the battlefield at Kana? I found it there. Back there? Is Nimue... different from before? No, she hasn't changed. Same old Nimue. Well, maybe it's the same with me then. Wait, hang on. Do you reckon the past me was more like her? In what way? Elegant. Graceful, refined. <laughs> no way. You'll be the same no matter how many times you're reborn. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I didn't... What I wanted to say was... I don't suppose we could change. But you know, some things are different sometimes. Huh. Because this time round, we're all Aboros. Things will be different. We're with you, Tyon. Yeni? <laughs> I didn't expect encouragement from you. <laughs> well, you do make a good cuppa. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh my, what is this? I am overhearing this conversation. A conversation about the peaceful life. Must be nice. Until someone... At this rate, it's going to be up to us.
Can we manage? There's plenty of them. No people, though. Maybe we can just let Rip out here, then. I mean, I guess so, but... If we don't, this place is done for. Only one choice left to us. Right. What's that? Anyone feel like taking a break? First, let's uh, go ahead and overhear this conversation. It might be a very pretty color, but it doesn't mean necessarily taste good. Meant to be going. Okay. Hello, there, sir. Razor Ramon. I'm afraid so. New folks on the map. I'm guessing this must have been there for Ronis at some point. Tyon? What's up? It's just this for Ronis. A flame clock? Oh man, and it even works. It's just a flicker, but still. Is it this Barely. colony's life force? No, I don't believe so. It's ancient, so it must be a malfunction or something. Remember, the people here aren't part of the flame clock system. You make a good point. I've got it! All of this! It's this thing's fault! Huh? What is? It was really bothering me. This place has been safe all this time. Why is Mobius just now taking notice? This is why. For whatever reason, this decrepit Foronis has come back online. Oh, that's how they found out. Indeed. After all this time, it's bad luck for the people here. Tyon? Riku, do you know much about Foronis's? Silly question. Maintaining Colony 9 Foronis was one of many jobs of Riku. Oh, yeah, right. That sure kept you busy. That's perfect. Then could you take a look at this? What for? If it still happens to work, we just might save this place. No, no way. So what if we get it to work? This thing's fighting days are done. It won't have to fight. We're going to play a little trick. A uh, trick? How is it? Friend was right. Ferranus can still move. Drive works barely, but Riku think it will run. Can you repair it? If we find several parts, then possible. How long do you need? Friend telling Riku to hurry? Well, mechanicists of Riku's talents can do this in 30 minutes. Can we get our hands on these parts in time? There are lots of Ferranus and Levnus wrecks sprinkled about here. Must be something Riku can use. Understood. Start making preparations for repairs. Let's split up and search for the parts we need. Sure. We'll handle it. We need the three kinds of parts and an ether cylinder. We can confirm them by Iris later. 
Oh, we got most of the parts already. Just these cube chips are probably something that's uh, specific to this area. And to say that we have enough ether cylinders is an understatement. We have enough ether cylinders 11 times over. I spy a husk. You're in the way. Time to do the right thing, eh? Also, I just noticed these guys are still here, and I just kind of walked into their territory. And we managed to aggro an elite as well. See if we can avoid doing that again. Nope. This is the place. Don't need up on coins. Let's go for the bonus experience. Oh no! Sorry. This is Nana! Disappointing that uh, it happened in mid attack here, but you know. Hopefully, that snake doesn't go well, but uh. Thank you. 
Oh, the Aspar did get involved. He really didn't have to, though. I'm sure this guy is gonna get involved too. Yep. Oh, and aggroed on me, because of course. Get one view of Nard off on me. Mm -hmm. There's another huge chip. Why do all of these guys have to be sitting so close to uh, to an uninvolved mob? Well, at least this one's a shiny, so it's gonna drop something nice. Oh, Whatever happens to not being careless. Okay, so that's the three cube chips we need. You're going to fight? Uh, not quite. We're, um... Tyon, I want to fight too. No way. I'm not letting you get mixed up in all this. So you really are going to fight? Ah. <sighs> you could... Hmm. get hurt. <gasps> if someone dies... I couldn't take it. Sitting here pretending none of that is happening? I understand our chief's feelings. It's thanks to her that we've lived in peace this long. But there's a war going on in the outside world. There are many who don't want to see it or wish it wasn't happening to them. Yet, you've come to us following your own path. And that is real. It's how the world really is. Nimue. Please. All right. I'll allow you to watch us while we're fighting. But under one condition. That is? When we first came here, it was like an awakening. There are still beautiful places like this in the world. We have to keep this place safe. That's what we're fighting for. Once you've seen how we do things, promise me that you'll protect this place. That fight belongs to you. My own fight? Yes. You have a deal, Tyon. I'll watch all of you. How you fight. I'll burn it into here. Riku done! Time to light fire! 
Come on, baby, light my fire. Brilliant, it worked. to float away yes it was huh riku did you input the coordinates of course riku fed for us numbers just as directed what's going on we've made ourselves a lure a lure it's very alluring now i get it that thing's gonna Lure in the Mobius and beat it up. They know about this place because of that thing's flame clock. As such, Mobius are probably watching out for that Veronis. So we'll make the Mobius think that the Veronis sense their approach, and then it's going to attack? Honestly, I would give it about 50-50. Let's hope this particular Mobius is a complete fool. Anyone remember P? <laughs> and then we can all swoop in and rinse this mudder. Gotta love a nice and simple plan. What happens after we beat them? Won't they end up coming back? As long as the Faronis is there? I haven't forgotten about that. I've got a little something in mind. Thank you, Tyon. Between us, we'll make it work for sure. And keep the Sophronia safe. All right, so we have um, we have sent in the uh, Ferranus for the lost colony, and now we have a consul to deal with. But we're going to have to take care of them after the break. Which, before we do that, let's go ahead and save. Gotta note this all down. Yes, indeed. So, if anyone's out there, y'all can take a moment. Get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in 10-15 minutes, we fight in the name of the Lost Colony to save everyone here from the terrible fate. So, I'll see you in a bit.